Okay guys, so another simple technique for animation. Um, so what we're going to do is animate as elements enter or leave the viewport without using any libraries. We don't want to use uh, a mutation observer. We don't want to use an intersection observer. We don't want to use GSAP. We don't want to use any other libraries whatsoever or plugins. You can do this with bricks. There is a little bit of limitation, uh, but I'm going to show you how you can actually make these cells or whatever you want animate as they enter or leave the viewport. Now let's go back to the builder. So simply what we're going to do is grab one cell and we're going to create a class called animate. Animate, uh, we'll call it uh, enter VP. So animate enter VP, all right? There's our animate into VP, and what we want to do is go to our interactions, add interactions, and we want to do a when we enter the viewport, we want to set an attribute. We're going to call this data animate. So we're going to set an attribute of data animate. Doesn't matter what the value is, because we're not going to check for that. And then we're going to duplicate that, and we're going to say when we leave the viewport, we want to remove the same attribute. It's simple as that. Okay, and that's all the anima sorry, that's all the interactions we need to do. The rest of it's CSS. So we're still on our animate into VP. Uh, go to our CSS uh, on the root. We want to set our transition. We'll set this to all of one second for ease. You can change all this as you like. And then we're going to use root when we have the data animate so in brackets uh, square brackets data animate so when we have the attribute what do we want to happen we want to actually let's start by transforming a little bit so we're going to do trans transform oh we'll go translate do it say 10 pixels that'll do oh, let's do 15 pixels make it really obvious i don't i like Subtle animation, so this isn't going to be what I like, but just so you can see it in action. Uh, and what we're going to do, actually, let's rotate it as well. Uh, or maybe uh, two degrees. And then we're going to grab those two. And when we've got the data animate, we want it to go back to a translate Y of zero pixels. And we want zero degrees. Okay, this is our first one done. If I now save that, have a look here. See that cell just rotated? Excuse me, take the cell out, come back in. See it come in and animate. The translation doesn't seem to work here. What have I done there? Translate, translate. Let me just double check that. Say so why? Maybe it's because of the rotation. No, let's get rid of the rotation. It is. The rotation is making it look like it's not translating. But what I'm going to do is make this simple. I'm going to take that rotate off. So we can see what's actually happening. The rotate just confused the animation then. So you can see there it enters the viewport and it moves. Right, and in the viewport there, and it moves. So all you have to do now to get the exact same effect on other cells or other elements, let's say we just do this heading, just the heading, we just put animate on enter VP. All right. What about if we just want this text here? We select that. And this is a bit crazy, but this is uh, just showing you what you can do. Maybe you want cell four here, the entire cell. Animate. You can make multiples of these just using different classes. Let's see what we got now. Okay. So cell one, cell two. So we go out, come in. We can see that just moved in. It's just the just the header on that one, the whole cell there. Watch the next cell down the bottom here, that, that just the text animated on that. Scroll down, I think I've got another cell that, the cell 4, the whole cell animates. Uh, so it's as simple as that. Now, 
the caveat is that the enter and exit viewport uh, conditionals here, uh, sorry, not conditionals, um, interactions, do not have a offset like you have with um, the Intersection Observer or uh, GSAP. It's basically when any part of it enters the viewport, so if the bottom of the cell enters the viewport, it'll animate. If the top of the cell leaves the viewport, it's going to undo the animation. And as soon as it comes in, so you see what I mean here, you watch down, watch when I get to that cell 4. See, it only just needed to touch the bottom of the screen and then animate. So with uh, GSAP and Intersection Observers, you can set a threshold from the top and the bottom for where that animates. But look, realistically, for not having any plugins, purely using bricks, purely using a enter and leave viewport and just toggling a data animate and then using that in your CSS here, using that in your CSS here, as simple as that. I think that's pretty cool. If you just want really simple animation as you enter or uh, leave viewports. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope you like that. And if you do, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thanks, guys.